Hey you guys, it's Miss Michelle, and I am back today with another review video. Um, I was thinking I hadn't did a skincare review video in a while, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, this review is going to be on the L'Oreal Paris Hydra Fresh Toner. And, um, before I was using this, I was using the, um, Simple Toner. And it was like, um, dye-free, fragrance-free. Um, you know with the Simple products, they're, you know, they're supposed to be free of everything. And so, um... I ended up trying that out, and um, I, I, at the time when I tried it, I liked it. However, um, for some reason, um, where I was getting it from, they didn't sell it there anymore, and so I got this instead because this was the, um, one of the other toners that they had. And at first, when I first used this, because with the um, with the simple toner, it was fragrance free, like it was clear. It pretty much looked like water in a bottle. And I really try to use things on my skin that are like dye-free, fragrance-free, things like that. However, with this, um, this has color to it. This has dye and it has um, fragrance. However, it says it's 99. For, well, it says it's alcohol-free with an um, with an asterisk beside it. Um, you flip it on the back and look at what the asterisk is. It's 99% alcohol-free. Um, when I first started using this. Um, sometimes with certain skincare products, you know when you first start using them, your skin reacts a certain way. And so when I first started using it, <laughs> my skin just kind of like, it. I don't think it was used to it yet. Because um, this definitely has more chemicals in it than the Simple Toner does. And so um, I was like, okay, I'm going to give it two weeks. And by the second week, like my skin was back to normal. Now, I like the Simple Toner because it's free of pretty much everything. And it has, um, I believe, like chamomile and vitamin B5 in it. However, this toner, I feel, it gets um, more of the dirt and dead skin out of your pores. Um, when I would use the simple toner, it wouldn't really be, like, too much on, because um, I use, like, an exfoliating um, cotton pad. And it wouldn't really be too much on there. However, when I use this, this pretty much, like, gets everything out of my skin. And I do notice my skin is smoother with this. So as much as I am like anti-dye, anti-fragrance, um, I do like this better just because it gets my skin cleaner. And um, my skin is smoother now using this as opposed to when I was using the Simple Toner. Um, pretty much it says, um, gentle non-drying formula refreshes and softens in a splash. Um, it says beta hydroxy gently sweeps away dull, tired skin. Pro vitamin B5 helps protect against moisture loss. Um, reflesh, refreshes in a splash, reveals smoother, brighter complexion, leaves skin soft and supple. The other thing, okay, speaking of leaving your skin soft and supple, now see this, for some reason to me, after you use this, um, it like, your skin feels, I don't know, I wouldn't say soft and supple, but your skin feel, it has like a different feeling to it. Um, with the Simple Toner, I didn't feel that just because it's pretty much like free of everything. But with this, I do feel that it's, I don't really know how to describe it, but it definitely like leaves your skin feeling um, some type of what. Your skin, when you touch your skin, it feels some type of way. Your face doesn't actually feel any type of way, but when you touch your face, um, it feels a little bit different. Um, it says to, um, it says it's 99% alcohol free and um, dermatologists test it. It tells you to apply with a cotton ball and use AM and PM. Like I said, I use an exfoliating cotton pad just because that's what I want to use to try to get all the dirt and everything out of my skin. Um, using AM and PM, see, I use this once a day. I don't use this twice a day. Um, just for the simple reason, this does have sal um, salicylic acid in it. And so I try not to use this um, two times a day just because it does have that in it. Now, the Simple Toner doesn't have any um, salicylic acid. However, this does. So I try not to use this twice a day just because I don't want to expose my skin to that um, two times a day. But um, this, I would definitely say go out and get this. Um, I really like L'Oreal Paris products. Now, if you're going from something like the Simple Toner to this, your skin, depending on if you have sen sensitive skin or not like me, your skin may react to it or it may not. With me, my skin reacted to it probably like two days, two, three days after using this, it was just like, mm -mm, it wasn't with it. But um, once I continued using it and my skin got um, used to it, then everything was okay. But um, I know some people don't use toners anymore. Like, it's hard to find toners now. Typically, when you get on, like, um, the skincare aisle, it's a lot 
of moisturizers and a lot of anti-aging moisturizers, um, anti-aging products, there's face washes, um, there's like acne treatments, but there's not really any toners anymore compared to like, say like when I was in middle school, um, there were a lot of toners. Now, there aren't really that many toners out. Everything is more so like face wash, moisturizer, anti-aging moisturizer, or like, um, like certain serums, like treatment serums. But, um, this is definitely, um, a pretty good toner. I'm satisfied with it. Um, I just wanted to come to you guys because I haven't did a video in, I think, like, two months. So, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging for too much longer. But, I'm, um, about to do a review. I'm going to do another review video. I'm not sure what I'm going to review yet. But I'm going to do another review video before I leave you guys. So, until next time, much love from me, Miss Michelle. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.